session we are looking for a comparison study of Zoho CRM and Odoo CRM. We know that um, CRM helps the salespeople to optimize their daily schedules and prioritize the task to make sure that customers are not ignored and contacted on right time. In fact, CRM allows the salespeople to spend more time with customer which leads more deals to be closed and build a stronger customer base. There are a lot of CRM applications available in the market that is having uh, some unique features but they lack so many other needed features that are mainly needed and essential for the business operation. So let's see how Odo CRM is different from the Zoho CRM. This is my Odo dashboard and I have in CRM, Odo CRM. This is my Odo CRM overview. And the overview shows a lot of information of each of the opportunities in different pipeline stages. So let's see how Zoho CRM looks. This is a Zoho CRM overview. Even though um, the Zoho CRM comes with dozens of CRM options, still it uh, comes with certain limitations too. So the interface of the Zoho CRM is a little bit clumsy and uh, uh, the overview shows the open tasks and leads that are created by today and the uh, amount by stages in graphical format and closing uh, opportunities or leads by this month. From the CRM overview, the first and most important thing that we'll have a uh, pipeline analysis of all opportunities can be possible. So the pipeline analysis is not possible in the Zoho CRM. And from this analysis itself, we can get a lot of information like uh, each of this uh, opportunities and their current status and the estimator revenue, the customer and the priority assigned for each of the opportunity and the uh, activities and its stages or its status as well. Now let's see how leads can be generated. So we will have a lead option. So leads can be created from here or the existing leads can be seen. Uh, before creating the lead will have another uh, feature that is views the three possible views in zoho crm included this is a tabla form uh, then in kanban view and next is canvas view well when we compare this views with our crm that is odoo crm we have multiple views are available that is a Kanban view, uh, then we will have a list view, then another is calendar view, then the most important thing is the people view, and next is graphical view. So this is a covered view, dashboard view. We will have another view that is map view, we show in Google Maps and the activity view. So different views will help the analysis of the pipeline and other activities more easier. When we came to a pivot view, is an interesting feature that is we can generate multiple uh, reports from this pivot view that is hundreds of uh, possible reports are available then using filter option we will have multiple options uh, under custom filter option there are multiple features are there and use group by option here also uh, multiple custom groups are possible so using those options we can generate multiple uh, reports also we can provide here the multiple measures and using this add button we can add more 
options so that much varieties of reports can be available using this pivot view for the same when we come to reports in zoho we will have limited uh, reports choices that is meeting reports email reports sales metrics uh, product report vendor reports etc now let's see how the workflow is made possible that is creation of leads and converting them to opportunity then quotation and then to sale order so lead can be generated from here so using this add button you can create a lead here the company name and last name is mandatory so i added a company name and the last name and the lead title phone number also you can other details like lead source industry annual revenue and the email address lead status website employee and address information and description as well then click on save so a lead is generated you will have an uh, related list in the left side that defines the modes, attachment, products, or open activities and close activities like this. So once you scroll down, you can add all those details like nodes, attachment, products, open activities, and activities are created. Suppose I'm creating an activity that is called subject. I'm calling for that you know the product inquiry details. You can also add the purpose and uh, the call type is on board. You can schedule our current call. You can add the description over here. We can schedule the call. So an activity is created. Suppose once this activity is completed, that is once call is done, that will be shown in the closed activities. Suppose I'm closing this, like I'm deleting this call information, and I mark this as complete, and I add a call duration that is 20 minutes. And save. So you can see it is uh, incompleted. Now you can see the closed activities is shown as one. So that is moved from open activity to closed activity. Likewise, the details that is performed, that is whether it is an email, meeting, invitation, campaign can also be added under this. Even though this is little bit clumsy, uh, as the operations are there, and we can convert this to add lead, uh, lead can be converted to D uh, using this convert option. So it will ask for uh, whether to create a new deal for this account so I'm enabling this and adding a command and you can add the closing date of this the stage will be in qualification stage you can add the contact role and campaign as well then convert so this will be the lead uh, is converted to D so in uh, Odo the opportunity is similar as what we call deal in Zoho CRM. Now check the deals. So here you can see that it is in qualification stage. 
and you will have the initial probability as 10 and the expected revenue as this we can edit we can't edit this expected revenue and when you move to the stage from to the negotiation to when review from the qualification so you can see the probability is correspondingly changed and the expected revenue is also changing so you can either make it closed as one or closed as closed so closed as one and save so this is closed so if you want to create a quotation for that you have to separately create you can't able to create a quotation from the opportunity or redeem you have to create separate code from here you have to mention the title that is laptop so it should be in draft stage etc now you have to add the product mention the quantity and add product so corresponding amount will be added here also the amount cannot be edited click on save so the quotation is created now go to cost and you can see it is in draft stage so from here you can convert this to a sale order so become a sale order and you can send the sale order that you can send me you can send me and you can export to pdf and print print and then you can convert it to invoice now when you go to invoice you can see that this the invoice is created to view the invoice export this to pdf this is invoice template and export you can see the details the previous and this thing invoice preview so this will appear in the same separate window now let's see how the same operation can be performed in OD so for that to create a lead click on lead button you can see all the existing leads here click on create button so it will redirect to the lead form so you can add the lead name that is suppose need for 10 tests and Odo can estimate the probability by itself that is by itself it is calculated as 96.88 percent each you can also add the company uh, details address contact name uh, job position contact address uh, etc it is not mandatory you can also edit uh, this letter as well so i'm not adding this i'm just converting this to this lead to opportunity that is click on convert to lead sorry convert to opportunity so it will ask for a conversion action whether uh, the opportunity it is need to be created as a separate opportunity or it will uh, whether it need to merge with any other existing opportunity so i'm creating as a new opportunity with a new customer click on create opportunity so the lead is converted into opportunity right now it is in stage new you can move this to qualified stage or proposition stage by simply clicking on that so and at any stage you can edit the details as well so i can add the customer that is suppose i'm adding decor edit as a customer and you can add the expected revenue as twenty thousand. if you need you can add the expected closing date 
priority if needed you can also tag the add the tag as well now click on save and you can also mark it as born or close from at any stage as well and you can create quotations as well from the uh, opportunity suppose i'm marking it as one so it is moved from the stage from qualified to one you can see a widget as one and i'm adding a new quotation so click on new quotation so the customer details are out of fill and you can add the quotation template if any and expiration date and the payment terms uh, and you can add the product so i'm adding customized test uh, quantity as 10 i can edit the unit price as well now the quotation is saved you can send the quotation by mail so mention the recipient address and the pdf file is uh, attached here the function so the quotation is sent to the customer that is decoding so the, it is moved to quotation sent so once it is confirmed quotation is confirmed it will become the sale order is when i click on the confirm button then it move to sale order so we'll get another tab as delivery so you can process the delivery using the tab so validate the delivery so it will ask for a confirmation so it is done that is the delivery is done so get back to your sale order you can create invoice so either you can create a regular invoice or a down payment in percentage of fixed amount click on create and view invoice so draft of the invoice is created you can post this so before making uh, the payment you can see the preview of your invoice click on preview so it will redirect to the portal So this is the invoice preview Back to edit mode now you can make payment clicking on register payment button choose the journal whether it is cash or bank and other details are out of filled amount and validate so the payment is done so the workflow is completed that is creating a lead then converting it into opportunity then after that create a quotation uh, then it becomes the sale order and invoice and finally the payment is done so the workflow is uh, much more easier in Oro CRM rather than Zoho CRM here the complete workflow can be achieved without any hindrance another basic operation is that creating contacts and accounts so in Zoho CRM we can create individual contacts using contact option using add button you can create contact you have to add the contact name Keep on adding the last name that is the mandatory key all of those are not mandatory you can also add the uh, account name so that this uh, contact will come under this account name so suppose i'm saying you can also add all the details like the department home address uh, phone um, 
contact address uh, and uh, other address information as well you can see so you can see the contact was created that is Sara. okay so this i'm creating that is an account it is account or of course the same as a company contact so the process is same suppose i'm having an account name that is in the list and you can look for the parent account of any account number account types industry suppose i'm having this is large large numbers industry you can use uh, the phone number and the website ownership employee etc and the address information as well and you can save and when you scroll to accounts you can see that and of course so for those uh, account is created later you can see the contact is william so for the first time when i'm creating a contact for william i'm added the account name as samson so he belongs to this account so if I'm creating another account um, so for Sarah, if I'm adding the account name as Samson, so she also belongs to that. So when you came to accounts. can see under uh, Samson two contacts are created that is Sarah and Williams. Now let's see how this will be applied or contacts and accounts can be created uh, in Odo as well. For Odo you can create customers from sales menu then go to customers so you will get the existing customers and contacts over here click on create button to create new customer so you can create either individual uh, contact or company contact so if it is individual you can mention the individual name and you can add the company so if i'm adding company you you can also add the contact address um, phone number and the company address and you can also add the state and the country you can also add the contact address using add option so so i'm adding invoice address for contact name um, save and new so the invoice address is added to here and the same thing you can create a delivery address add the delivery address add the details so you can see two new addresses can be added one for invoice address and another for delivery address and you can see so now go to customers you can search the corner you can see all those contacts so creating contacts is far more uh, better and easier in uh, CRM, Odoo CRM rather than Zoho CRM. Also Odoo CRM supports uh, website lead generation and lead scoring and nurturing. It's also possible in Odoo CRM which is uh, not uh, not during Zoho CRM. So go to configuration and settings.
we have features that uh, incoming email so enabling this uh, the leads can be generated from the incoming emails so that uh, you have to configure the mail server as well and also you can generate uh, website visits as leads uh, so you can enable this and lead enrichment and lead mining features are also possible in auto crm so in short auto crm has more advanced options for reporting and business workflow lead scoring and generating lead from marketing campaigns etc if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.